Hi guys, in this tutorial, we're going to create a very basic low poly looking TV using Blender. So this is a continuation from the previous tutorial of when we created this uh, simple TV stand. So let's go ahead now and create a TV to sit on top of this TV stand. So first of all, I'm going to go ahead and click this cursor over here and then click on the top somewhere over here. So this will be the starting point of where we'll add our TV. Then we will go and add in an object. So go to add mesh cube. And we'll start off with the base of the TV. So let's go ahead and go into edit mode by tabbing, scale it down on the Z. Oops, scale it down quite a lot. Uh, and then I'm going to scale it down on both the X and the Y. So by clicking and dragging this blue little um, this blue little square over here. So click and drag that. So that'll scale on both X and Y, except the Z. Okay, and now I'll scale it up on the X. So we have a pretty large base for the TV. And yeah, well this depends how much we want to go and how large you want to keep your TV. So maybe yeah, let's make it smaller, like so. Now let's go to face select and select the top face over here. And let's go and select inset faces and click and drag this one down. We can go all the way down, but I might make it a little bit bigger, like so. And let's just move this up a little bit, just a tad, just a fraction. Make it subtle. And then insert it one more time by clicking and dragging this down. Now let's move this one a little further up, just a tad, let's move it down, okay, and now we want to go ahead and hit extrude, and click and drag this to extrude it up, uh, scale this down on the Y axis, and then move it forward, like something like that, maybe a little bit more as well. Okay, the next thing we want to do is go ahead and extrude again. Click and drag this one up just a little bit, not too much. And let's go ahead and scale this one to scale way out to about the size of a TV, or like a TV screen, or where the, where the sound bar usually goes. So somewhere like this. Uh, it can make it a little wider actually almost as wide as a TV stand. It depends on how large you want your TV to be. If you have a if you have a measurements of your, your actual TV, you can go ahead and use that in the real blender units. But I'm just um, I'm just sort of going by eye over here. But I'm just sort of uh, I'm winging the dimensions here. I just noticed it doesn't seem to be centered on the middle of this um, the, the, the base over here. So hit control plus then control plus again. So that'll expand the selection and then go to move and then this is move it onto the middle. Actually maybe one more, control plus. Let's move it a little bit more onto the middle. I don't know why I did that. It's supposed to be in the center, but okay, anyways. Let's go back and select the top face again. And this one I'm going to go ahead and scale inwards a little. So TVs tend to be relatively slim nowadays. We're not creating one of those olden day CRT style TVs. So, oops. So we can afford to move this out like so. Further out. Okay, and once you've done that, uh, we then finally go ahead and hit extrude and move it to the, well, pretty much the height of an average TV. So let's go to the move tool and click and drag this one. I'm creating a massive TV over here. Something that I can only dream of buying. We'll go ahead and add in the TV screen itself. So let's go to face select again. Select this face over here. Extrude, oh sorry, not that one. Inset the faces. Click and drag and uh, just move it in just a little bit. Not too much. Um, what I tend to find is TVs nowadays they don't have huge borders. They tend to be really, really subtle. So 
we can go ahead and make that really really subtle as well if you move it like way in like this much then you're, then you're pretty much creating tvs of the older generation so the more you move it in the more older generation your tv tends to look well that's what that's what i tend to find finally go ahead and uh, go to the extrude tool click and move this one in just a tad now i'm going to go ahead and add in a bevel and why would i add a bevel well it's because TVs don't have harsh uh, harsh edges. They tend to look very smooth on the corners. So maybe we can hit the increase the offs. So I think the offset is fine, but maybe we can increase the segments, make it look smoother. And overall that should look relatively good. I'm not gonna bother with the back creating those HDMIs and all that stuff. So I'm going to keep it simple and pretty much call it done. So that's it. That's how you create a basic low poly TV using Blender. So great. Now let's go ahead and texture this. So for the texturing, let's go to materials, create a new material. We'll call this one TV. Um, TV. Just call it TV. That should be fine. And this will be a grayish kind of a color. Uh, maybe it's maybe closer to black. Something like that should be good. And then for the TV screen, it, oh, actually, let's go more towards grey. Like so. And then for the TV screen itself, so let's go ahead and create a new material. We'll call this one TV screen. And let's tab into edit mode and select this face, which is already selected by default, which is great. So go ahead and select this TV screen and hit assign. So now we have the TV screen. So now it really depends what type of material you want to use this one. If you want your TV screen to be turned off, um, I would suggest going for a base color of black, even darker black than the other one, and pretty much call it good. So now it looks like a TV from all angles, which is great. But if you want your TV to be turned on, then I suggest you change this to an emission shader. Where is it? Uh, emission shader. So it reflects light. And make the strength of this maybe 10 so that um, it reflects light. And you'd obviously change this color to uh, an image texture. Uh, and when you use an image texture, you can load in an actual image uh, or you can load in a video. So in this case, I loaded in an image of the living room uh, render that I created as part of my course. So we can't really see it here, so we need to obviously do some UV editing. So that's the image that I used, uh, but you can't see it over here. So to, in order to see that properly, you need to go to the front view like so, and then go to U, uh, project from view, so that you can see the box over here, and select all of this one and scale up. Now this is quite uh, a little bit more advanced, so you don't have to do this part. Maybe you. You will need to learn a little bit more about uh, UV unwrapping and all of that stuff in order to be able to follow along. So if that's just there for your reference. Yeah, that should be fine. And we have our TV. Okay, so to just to quickly finish off, let's go ahead and name this one something more meaningful. So double click this cube and we'll call this TV. So we have a TV and our TV stand now done. So just a quick little shameless plug. So you can see in the living room course, I created another TV as well, so this is a little bit more advanced and it really covers uh, how to create um, photorealistic style TVs and even in photorealistic style living room. So um, this is not really low poly like we've created over here. So if you want to learn how to create this kind of detail and all of that stuff, we'll also look at how to turn your TV on and make it move with video screen and control it using sliders and all of that stuff. So that as an animator, you have a lot of control how to turn an on and off a TV without playing around with this material and nodes and all that stuff. So if you're interested in learning that, I'd suggest that you go check out the course in the description below. In the next video, we'll look at combining all the objects that we created into a low poly living room scene.